you. So kind of like this. Yeah. And it was tall guy, six foot two, lift me up like wow. that. Something's coming out of your skin. Yeah. <laughs> You've had a neck injury recently, sports injury? Uh, three years ago, yes. And describe what happened. Did you get slammed? Did you get whipped around? I know, like a chokehold. You know, like a chokehold? Yeah. Um, kind of like a, a judicious, so like, you know, you put the guy's head here and just like crank it. So it's kind of like a guillotine. Right? Guillotine, yes. Guillotine. That's okay. what it is, yes. Okay, so. And then, so you, you had your head there? My head was here, and the guy was like six foot two, you know, he's that guy just cranked it, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Any yeah. imaging on your spine at all? Anybody taking the pictures or anything? I have done CT scans, I've done things, but they... Nothing obvious. Yeah, that's okay. uh, normal, you know. Right. Kind of like this. Yeah. And it was tall guy, six foot two, lift me up like wow. that. And then, then, what he did, he jumped and pulled guard by wrapping his leg and bringing me down. Now, were you... So, were you on your knees? Were you standing? No, I, I, we started at a position. It was just a technique. Started from here, uh -huh. and I'm I'm trying to fight to get out. So that's part of the technique. We were actually drilling techniques. So what happened when he grabbed me, and then when the coach says go, and now I gotta fight it, to fight it off. So what happened right away? He he brought me up, and I'm like this. And before I can fight or tap, he wrapped his leg around me and brought me down. Wham! Yeah, right here like that. So now I just start tapping. So he let me go, I felt like I couldn't breathe. You know? I mean, just yeah. just what you just, I mean, I know you were yeah. just trying to, even that's like, yeah. <laughs> it was you, a actually, good. You, you actually put some force into that? Oh, yeah. Jeez. It just doesn't show everything. It just shows what you can see, a CT specifically the bones. Yes. So there's nothing broken or dislocated. Yeah. It's not that there's not an injury, just we can't see it. Yeah. Most of the time we try to go to the MRI, and even the MRI misses so much, you can't see the soft tissue with a high definition of yes. detail. So. If nothing's broken or dislocated, you're dealing with a soft tissue injury. Yeah. And inflammation in the neck, you're off balance, lack of focus. You said, yeah, like, really, like uh, the brain fog. I had that actually for a year, you know. I saw a neurologist, I saw ENT doctors, you know. Like, you know, I said after this injury, I'm, you know, it was a week after. I said, you know, I'm getting like brain fog, I can't concentrate, I'm getting off balance. So, you know, I did ear check, I yes. did MRI on my brain, everything, okay. you know. Any um, so, headaches? Uh, I used to have a lot of headaches, you know, like what I noticed, I used to have a lot of tension too for, for a year, year and a half. Yeah. I was afraid to touch it because, you know, when the choke, when the choke was applied, I actually had like a lump for like six months here, you know. Gotcha. So what I'm seeing with your so, posture is yeah. that your head is forward from your shoulders. Yeah. And that's, that takes time after you have an injury where you're supposed to be and maybe perhaps before your injury, your head yeah. was back and then as a result, the, the head went forward to get the pressure off the joints. The joints on the back side of your spine have a lot of feeling, and so it's common when you have your neck cranked on yes. for the disc to not get, well, it can get injured, but we don't feel it. The joints get injured, yeah. and then your head goes forward. That inflammation in your neck probably caused the headaches initially, and then perhaps your neck went forward and then sort of stabilized, and now the brain fog is, is sort of difficult. It can be inflammation of your spinal column can do that, yeah. inflammation of your brain can do that. Yeah. It's not going to be something that, you know, it's easy to point your finger on. And so I sort of, my, my first way I would sort of treat you is just sort of see what, how your spine reacts to being worked on. Yeah. Um, try to balance your spine a little bit. Yeah. All right. So let me have you just start on your back here. Back for me. Let it go. Exhale. Let all the air out. Keep exhaling. Keep exhaling. Keep exhaling. All right. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Let all the air out. Yeah, totally frozen. Deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Exhale. Yeah. Deep breath in. Exhale. There we go. All right. It's just frozen in there. Take a deep breath in. Then we'll try to loosen up this middle back real tight in here. Exhale. I'm just going to stretch. There we go. Breathe. Exhale. Yeah, it's real tight in there. Deep breath in one more time. Exhale. Yeah, we're just all bound up. Your body's in guard mode. <laughs> it's like you got injured and now everything's in fortification. And a lot of what I need to do is try to unlock you. The lymphatics don't flow properly when you're all bound up. Breathe, exhale. There we go, breathe, exhale. This side's moving. Right, breathe, exhale. There we go, a little bit, face up for me, okay.
in the part I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I understand, I understand. I'm just going to take a little bit of cream. I'm going to rub for a second. Just going to feel, see what's going on here. The goal is to not adjust the injured parts of your neck. The upper neck is designed to do 60% of the work of your neck, and not just 60%, but the first 60%. Yeah. So if your upper neck isn't working, when you have a guillotine move put on you, yeah. your lower neck gets overstressed, yeah. the head goes forward to take stress off your lower neck. So I'm not interested in adjusting or doing anything really to your lower neck. Really easy, here we go. It's okay. Here we go, good, you did good. You did good, I'm gonna go gentle. It's okay. I'm gonna go real gentle. Here we go. Right, it's okay. I'm just gonna rub now. Yeah, I think of like your ear. You know how it's the cauliflower ear is a response to stress, yes. right? To to injury. The the upper neck probably has something very similar. There's inflammation and rigidity in here because there's the same stress that went to your ear also went to your upper neck. Yeah. And now it just takes time to jackhammer and break down this rigidity. The, the lymphatics are your what we call your sewer pipes of your body, and they drain down your neck. So your skull, head, all drain down the back of your neck. And if your if the drainage is impaired because of all this tightness in your neck, yeah. then you're going to have inflammation that's going to create you know dysfunction. Could be fogginess, could be clarity of thought. Yeah. It's a piece of it, or at the very least, you know, pain in your neck or stress. Maybe you don't sleep as well. And call them the three T's in chiropractic, thoughts, traumas, toxins. So you have a trauma that injures the joints. You have toxins that can't get out of your body because the lymphatics aren't flowing properly. Yeah. Um, and then your mind in, in stress and work, you know, life. Um, these all affect your health and affect your clarity. The dead tissue on your skin just falls off on the outside but where do your old dead muscles and ligaments go yeah. they're supposed to go to your lymph and by having this much rigidity in here that lymphatic drainage is blocked mm -hmm. and creates soreness pain you know yeah. dysfunction i notice like uh my symptoms like uh if i don't do anything yes it just it's mild you know it's like uh, i don't get alfonso as much or Mm -hmm. Focus is good, but I know when I if I go swimming, run treadmill, like instantly within two hours, right? Or the next day, it hits me for like a week. Not as much over here. Feel the difference? The right side is not nearly as tight as that left part of your neck. It's it's super bound up over there. Yeah, it's actually you're correct on that. You know that one side yes. was like hundred percent stiff, like where I could have turned my neck left. only like because this joint degree, won't compress. Yeah. Right, the joint on your left upper. The right side's at least talking to me. The left side's completely comatose. The goal of chiropractic is to balance your spine. I'm not trying to see how many bones I can manipulate. Where the, the yeah. design is to uh, balance your spine, bring your spine into sounds like the, sounds like something from Star Wars. You know, bring your spine into the bring the force into balance. Yeah. Your, I mean, in the past three years, I tried a few times, you know, to see a chiropractor, but. It's just, I think, it's, just the thought of it, you know? Sure, sure. No, no, it's, it's, it's difficult. When, you, when it's this bound up, um, the bones won't move like I just tried to earlier. Yeah. And so now we have an option as a, as a chiropractor. Either see you tomorrow and we try again, or we coerce, I call this, which is you have to spend time unlocking your yeah. neck. It's frozen up there. The difficulty then is that when you take something that's frozen, it's frozen, meaning that you're not really having a conversation with it. That area doesn't, the, the signals from the area are set based on mobility. So when an area is injured and then locked down in fortification, there's not much proprioception or neurological input to the brain from that area. Mm -hmm. And as I start getting this area working like an engine, you're going to start feeling things that you haven't felt in a while up here. And that's what's going to take the stress off your lower neck. We have to get your head back over your shoulders. Yeah. Otherwise, all that muscle, all that muscular stress you're feeling is because your posture is not correct. Mm -hmm. The alignment has been altered as a result of an injury. And I tell this to people all the time that the main injury from an injury is not the injury itself. It's the posture change as a result. Yeah, yeah it's all sore right now.
Yeah, that's just like that area. Yes. Like after a year, man, it's just like actually it was it was sore for a year, but I was just afraid to touch it on the side. And it I feel like the, when injury. they did the guillotine, this part or you know, somehow yeah. this this joint got the most injured, and then there was a resu result of it. Your head just tilted to the right. Uh, like massaging that area. Yes. I get like like really a lot of tension right on my shoulder to the tip of the shoulder right these are just this the roots like, yeah. the root the other end of the muscle that i'm rubbing at the top yeah. is down here in the shoulder blade it's just the origin and then the insertion these are the opposite ends yeah. okay but you're way too young to have lost you know 90 percent of your mobility of this joint it's just yeah. you've mm -hmm. Occipital attachment's really tight. Yeah. Wow. Right there, it's got a press of that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that is locked. It's okay. Let me have this side. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that bone hasn't moved. There should be like a little hallelujah music. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now your head will tilt to the left a little better. All right. Yeah, almost what, three swipes. <laughs> There's a mark. <laughs> yeah. I barely touched it. There is so much buildup in here. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> unedited. <laughs> I barely touched you. It is pouring out of here. Um, there's an internal blockage. Yeah, there's the, the waste is not flowing properly. These are the lymphatic channels. Lactic acid is stuck in here, and that's going to irritate nerves and cause. So we have sensors called proprioceptors, or position sensors, in your neck that yeah. tell your brain where you are in space. Yeah. Because there's inflammation in here, those sensors are sending false signals to your brain about where you are. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not having severe dizziness. Um, uh, yeah, like dizziness. Uh, Again, that comes when I when my symptoms triggers to mm -hmm. goes back to um, like stage one. Okay. Like say if I was swimming for three four days in a row. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's what what I'm saying it is usually down, yeah. usually this level of buildup, I have people just constant vertigo, constant you know. Yeah, that's that's that, that was my first complaint for the first year year and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'm having vertigo, and then I saw a ENT doctor. We did some year test that I'm arrived. So you, right. right, well, we have three systems of your body that tell your brain where you are in space. You have your eyes, your ears, and your neck. Yeah. Your eyes are generally the most trusted. Yeah. <laughs> your ears have these semicircular canals that tell your brain where you are, and then there's sensors in your neck. Like when you tilt your head left, this sensor is squeezed, and it says to your brain that your head's tilted left. Yeah. But the way lactic acid works is that even with your head straight, this acidity will irritate the nerve and send a signal saying your head's tilted left even when it's not. Yeah. And that discrepancy causes those symptoms. So the issue is that going in here and cleaning this all out of here might wake everything up a little bit and yeah. don't be disheartened, but we have to go through the process of tearing all this out of here and getting all this soreness out of here. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. That's good. When I find out, um you know, like I need to do stretching and massage yes. and might relieve the tension. I might get, you know, my symptoms got better. Yes. But it's just, I was nervous, you know, because I was like, you know, I had a neck sure. injury. Sure. But then slowly I, I got to it and I noticed a difference. Sure. And and I noticed the looser my neck, my shoulders were, the my symptoms were less. There's just proprioceptive incorrect signals being sent in here. That's what's causing that, that fogginess. You don't have a, your brain's going, where in the world am I? And then yeah. when you push yourself, you're overloading those, you know, your, your body's going to ask more information from your body and it's not able to give it properly. And there we go. Yeah, right there, that's the root. 
got to clean this whole channel. Yeah, we have a lot of inflammation. Do you have a salt pool you can access yeah. or salt bath? Yes. I, I need you soaking when you get home. There is a lot of tension, lactic acid that's been trapped in here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, how about Epsom salt? Good. Yeah. Bring your head back for a second. See how his neck just folds in the lower? See, your skin creases just here. There's no creasing, very little bending. So you're, you can look straight forward. But I'm saying all the bending happens, and you got to be careful. We don't want really any, nobody should be pushing pressure on your lower neck. We want to stay yes. above and below where that creases yes. to ensure that we're not aggravating where you're folding all the time. How quickly the mark comes out also helps me know yeah. how much is in there. So sometimes I have to work extensively to get a mark to come out. Yeah. And it's just pouring. You're okay. There we go. All right. All right we're gonna go face down for. Very good, keep breathing. I know that's sore. Right there is a pretty significant injury yeah. on that right side. So yeah, right here, can. yeah, you feel that right yeah. here on the right? It's not as high on the left. And then right there. Collision or, you know, kick or who knows. Yeah, right there. Yes, I know. How did you know, Ed? How did he, how did he find it? See, it's not as big on this side. It's not nearly as large. There's still a little one, a little, little, tiny little one down here. But these shoulders are a mess. That all the ribs, this whole rib cage has to come down. Let it out, let it out. Whatever you gotta do, I don't want to, we gotta get that. That somebody's gotta You probably don't even you probably haven't felt this area in a long time, right? Have you yeah. I don't think this part of your back has been talked to. That all has to go. adhesions that have to be combed out.
He went back to the same spot again. I know. I keep coming back to this because it's the biggest misalignment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why me? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you didn't have my father as your father. Because <laughs> my father would have beaten you up after an injury. And we healed stiff. And First of all, he wouldn't let me do football or hockey. Yeah. or He probably would have kicked me out of jiu-jitsu. I'm like, nope, sorry, son. It's not for you. Yeah, absolute must get in the salt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's gonna feel like you got beat up. But it'll be it'll be in areas that you're not used to feeling. Yeah. So it'll be different. It won't be it won't be the usual suspects that are hurting. It'll be all these other areas that have been staying home for the last three years or forever yeah. long. After the elbow, this probably feels pretty good. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's all yeah. relative. It's yeah. all relative. <laughs> no, don't bring back the elbow. Not the elbow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm telling you, after after all this lactic acid is gone, yeah. that the amount of discomfort, and that's usually by visit six. Yeah. People start to like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First two, three, four visits, it's like going to the gym for the first time, and then being yeah. sore the next day to, to the point where you're, you know, not able to move. Well, yeah. Yeah, I had a CT scan down twice. I understand. Of the neck and head? Yeah, the neck. Just the neck, so, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted an MRI on my spine, but mm -hmm. the doctor would, you know, wouldn't write me to. Wouldn't write me the prescription, you know? Right, for pills, right. Yeah, uh, see, so, because there's nothing wrong with you. So. Right, my anti inflammatories or something, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I kept saying it's anxiety. Anxiety? Yeah. I got you. Oh, for pills, that, that type of pills, I got you. Yeah. So She's on your head. Yeah. Shoot. So they're trying to put them in anxiety that, pills. I don't think it's all on his head. Um, it's like a rib injury in there. Is it? And you can feel a crunching. There's a crunch. I had actually a rib injury on that side. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago. Like, yeah, right there's like a, like a ribbon. You can feel there's like a. <laughs> you have one mark that's like really, really dark. Yeah. Well, darker. Yeah, I had a ribbon on that same side. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't move for like two weeks. I couldn't bend. I couldn't sit up. It was a while. Mm -hmm. Something's coming out of your skin. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shoot. 
I mean, I saw your videos. I haven't seen anything like this. <laughs> I, like just, I need you. I need to drink your water. Yeah. Oh yeah. All sure. that's gonna pour into yeah. your bloodstream. Okay. And that's toxins. That's in, that's that injury. There's an injury on that rib yeah. there. But that that right side, there's. Yeah. We have a lot of buildup that has been on. We're gonna go back face down for me. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that. Yeah. I, it, <laughs> I thought you were making it up. <laughs> Real easy. Easier. There we go. Alright, I got gotcha. you. Come on. Alright, breathe. I know. I know. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not in it. I know. Under the table above your head, sort of describe the table a little bit. I got your leg, I got you. Okay. Anyway, a little bit. I got your leg. Getting the joints in your spine moving. Yeah. You understand? It's not supposed to be. Your back feels just like yeah. hard yeah. in here. And when you're upright, it can be relaxed. Yeah. And so the tension you feel in your back is postural. Yeah. So we have to loosen you up and then we have to arch back to mold your spine back into the right posture. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And we're not trying to overwhelm you, we're trying to day by day get more and more time arching back. The tension in your neck, look at me for a second, the tension in your neck is because the head is forward. The tightness here will be here forever. Yeah. We have to get your head back. I can't get your head back because your chest yeah. has to come in. Yeah. So, Ed, I told you it was my neck and head and all that. Why'd you work on my back so yeah. much? Why'd you bruise me that much? Because I have to loosen up your chest yeah. in order to shift it to a new position so we can bring your head back. All of that muscular tension is yeah. postural as an effect from injuries to the joints that have, made, that have allowed you to shift forward and go into avoidance. So as I think about it 20, 20 minute times. So 20 minutes, 20 times, and you'll start seeing your body okay. get easier into sinking in. Is this like an everyday thing? Every day. You can do three times a day and you'll be done in a week. You know, it's a matter of getting to 20 times. Okay. So go push with your feet and move one inch. Yep, get that in and stay there. You're not going to do a sit up off this. Yeah. You're going to roll the way you came. Okay. So you're going to roll till this pops out like a pillow. Okay. Do not do a sit up. Put the feet together, knees together. Uh, sorry, bend the knees. But, and then bring your knees left. Stretch. Eventually your knees touch the ground. Good. Bring your knees back up. Bring your knees to the right. Get the idea? Yeah. Right, try to unlock all these vertebrae yeah. that are frozen. Roll back the way you came, and then lay on your back. Lay on your back. There you go. Just lay back. There you go. You all right? Yeah. It'll you'll feel a little. If you feel a little lightheaded after you get off that, it's it's common. It's not yeah. normal. It's because we're moving your body into a new position, okay. and it takes those sensors and all those proprioceptors some time to get re-equilibrated to being in a new position. Yeah. So don't be. You know, and I got off the roll and I was all dizzy. <laughs> yeah, so you know, when you know it's tight, you can't get out. Just, <laughs> just let it go. Yeah, let Fight it go. another day. Yeah. That's all right. Thank you so much, man. I'll check you out in a second. Yep.